Hello athletes and fitness enthusiasts, Jürgen Swinkels here. Today we are going to compare maltodextrin and dextrose. Every athlete knows that carbohydrates are the principal fuel that provides your body with energy. They are a vital component during endurance exercise and even recommended for team sports players who are involved in intermittent intensity activity. Basically performance improves with carb ingestion. But what specific carbs should you consume? If you want a quick energy boost, there are usually two types of carbohydrates to look out for, maltodextrin and dextrose. But what is the difference? Which one is the better for athletes? In this video, I'll tackle this question along with the benefits and side effects. And at the end, we'll settle once and for all, which is better, maltodextrin or dextrose? So what is maltodextrin? Maltodextrin is a polysaccharide that is used as a food ingredient. A polysaccharide is a long chain carbohydrate composed of monosaccharide units bound together. Maltodextrin is produced from vegetable starch by partial breakdown by enzymes and is usually found as a water soluble white powder. Maltodextrin is easily digestible being absorbed as rapidly as glucose and is either moderately sweet or almost flavorless. It can be found as an ingredient in a variety of processed foods to improve the texture and mouthfeel of food and beverages, but can also be used as a supplement. And what is dextrose? Dextrose is the same as glucose. Actually, the names dextrose and glucose can be used interchangeably. Dextrose is a simple sugar made of corn or wheat. Dextrose is often used in baking products to provide sweetness and is commonly found in items such as processed foods and corn syrup. Dextrose also has medical purposes. It is dissolved in solutions that are given intravenously, which can be combined with drugs or directly be used to increase a person's blood sugar level. Because dextrose is a simple sugar or monosaccharide, the body can quickly absorb it and use it for energy. Simple sugars can raise blood sugar levels very quickly. Examples of other simple sugars besides glucose are fructose and galactose. Dextrose is called blood sugar when in the blood and glycogen when stored in muscles or liver. In short, dextrose is plain and simple, the quickest and most absorbable kind of carbohydrate you can get your hands on. So are dextrose and maltodextrin the same thing? Not really. For one, maltodextrin is a polysaccharide, while dextrose is a monosaccharide. Chemically speaking, the former is more complicated than the latter. Dextrose is a simple sugar that your body doesn't have to break down, while maltodextrin is a string of glucose molecules, meaning your body has to break it down first to use it. However, since they're all glucose molecules, maltodextrin is absorbed almost as quickly as dextrose. So while the chemistry of the two is different from each other, the process through which your body uses them for energy and recovery is similar. You could say in one sentence that they're the same, but actually different. Now the question is, which one is best for you as an endurance athlete? Let's begin with the benefits of maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is a good source of quick calories. It's good at delivering the necessary calories in your bloodstream. Maltodextrin can also replenish muscle glycogen. After an intense workout, when your body is depleted of sugar, specifically muscle and liver glycogen, maltodextrin will help quickly replenishing those stores, aiding with rapid recovery. And now the benefits of dextrose. Dextrose is also a source of quick calories, albeit less expensive. It provides similar results to maltodextrin, but for less cost. Comparing to maltodextrin, dextrose has a sweeter taste. I will come back to this aspect later. For now, just keep it in mind. And of course, dextrose also rapidly replaces muscle and liver glycogen, and that will help speeding up recovery. As you can see, maltodextrin and dextrose are close brothers when it comes to the advantages. Both provide quick energy boost and help recover muscle and liver glycogen stores. Now, let's zoom in on a few details. Number one, absorption speed. Both dextrose and maltodextrin are glucose sources. If you drink a glucose-based sugary beverage on an empty stomach, some of that glucose will hit your blood 
already within a couple of minutes. So after a few minutes the blood sugar level starts rising and it reaches its peak after less than half an hour. After two hours the level is back again at its starting point. Although the speed difference isn't that much, dextrose is absorbed by the body slightly faster than maltodextrin. This is because the body has to break down maltodextrin from its multiple sugar construction to single sugars or monosaccharides. Number two, maximum absorption capacity. Since both dextrose and maltodextrin are made up of glucose molecules, they use the same transport mechanism to move from the intestinal lumen into the intestine cells. Glucose uptake into the intestine cells is carried out by a glucose transporter protein called STLT1. Different studies have shown that the rate of glucose transport by STLT1 peaks at 60 gram per hour even if larger amount of glucose are ingested. And since dextrose as well as maltodextrin are made up of glucose, the absorption capacity for both type of carbohydrates is 60 gram per hour. Number three, taste. So how do they taste? As mentioned before, although both of them are on the sugary side of your taste buds, the taste is different. Dextrose is much sweeter than maltodextrin. And since endurance athletes often take relatively large quantities of carbs during exercise, namely 60 to 90 grams per hour, many get the feeling that their taste buds are being assaulted by sweetness. That is why many endurance athletes prefer to use products during training and racing that taste less sweet. And that's where maltodextrin has a clear advantage. Basically, it provides the same amount of calories while reducing the unwanted sweetness assault. So this explains why sports nutrition manufacturers predominantly use maltodextrin as carbohydrate source for endurance sports products such as gels, bars and sports drinks instead of dextrose. Conclusion In short, maltodextrin and dextrose are glucose sources and they both provide an important punch to your training and racing routine. The effects of dextrose are ultra fast, while the effects of maltodextrin are slightly less fast but still very speedy. The most important difference is the taste and with most endurance athletes shying away from super sweet nutrition products, maltodextrin provides a significant advantage in that department. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We are dropping videos like this on YouTube on a regular basis and if you have questions leave them in the comments box below with hashtag school sports nutrition and I'll do my best to get in there and get those questions answered right away.